Do you know how to crack passwords? Just like that. Today we'll be using a tool named Hashcat to crack hashes. You can use any hashing algorithm from SHA-256 to MD5. Hashcat can crack any hashing algorithm in seconds. So, let's get started. So we'll be cracking passwords with Hashcat as I told you earlier. Hashcat is a tool that you forces passwords out of a word list that you provided. So you will be giving Hashcat a word list. You will be giving it, giving it a set of rules. And then you will be given, giving it the target hash that needs to be cracked. Alright, here I'll go on a new page and I'll type MD5 to text. Or text to MD5. Because MD5 protection is not possible. Because it's a hash. MD5 hash and data. And then I just type a string. And then this website will generate the MD5 hash out of it. So the string is the word and I'll generate the MD5 token. This is the MD5 hash and this is the SHA-1 hash. Alright, so let's go back or to our terminal. Here you should have hashcat installed. If you're on a Mac, you can just type brew install hashcat. If you are Windows, you can get the zip file from the hashcat website right here. I leave it in the link down below. If you are on Linux, hashcat will probably be installed for you. But if it's not, you can just go on sudo app get install hashcat and you will be fine. So I have hashcat installed as you can see. Hashcat or C D have hashcat installed. You can type hashcat version or hashcat anything else. You if you get this, how to use hashcat? That means you have hashcat installed. Okay, so we were typing a hashcat command here that will help us to crack the password. First, I have to create a list of the hashes that need to be cracked, right? So, I create a file. First, let me go on my desktop. Alright, I'll create a file. Nano. Uh, hashes. Not text. So, uh, the first hash we copied. Uh, no, this is not the hash. The first hash that we copied was right here. md 5 hash generator. Copy this hash and paste it. So, we need a hashtag to find the answer to this hash, right? We need a hashtag to find the solution to this hash. Then I just create another hash. One right. Uh, generate. We got the hash. Paste it. Then we can create another one. Let me copy this as well and paste it. All right. So we did this through MD5 hash generator, and we got three hashes. And what we need hashcat to do, we need hashcat to find the answer to this hashes. This is really useful if you are having a man in the middle attack and you're sitting in between and the, both, both of the computers are communicating in MD5. Alright, so that's the, uh, this is this computer is providing a hash and sending it to that guy. And he has a key to the hash and he's doing the same and back and forth and back and forth. Alright, so this can be really useful for that. I save the file, control X, Y and enter. So we have this file right here. Uh, as you can see, it will be somewhere right here. Yeah, hashes are text. All right, we have this file right here. Now, what we want to do, we need to tell hashcat to use the set of rules and this word list so that it can crack the past. The word list that I'm going to be using is rockq. If you don't have rockq installed, you can just do what I'm doing. Rockq word list download. And as you can see, you will get this word list downloaded for you. If you have a Linux machine, you will probably have that word list under user shared word list and then rockyou.text but if you are a Mac or a Windows as you probably are you get downloaded manually as well now this is getting downloaded in my downloads folder and it has almost 14 million passwords so you have a lot of passwords to attack and to see if your password is getting that hash over or not okay so we downloaded rockyou now all you have to do now is tell hashcat to use a set of rules from a word list and drag these hashes alright for doing that we are on desktop right now. I'll go back. Here we need to type hashcat. Type sudo first to give you permissions. Type hashcat. Let's read a minute and see. Alright, it's working. Sudo hashcat, then we'll type m for telling it the mode that we want it in. And then we'll type a. This is the hashing algorithm within hashcat that we are using md5 hashing algorithm. And the serial number for md5 hashing algorithm is always 1. You can search that from the internet. And here we have got m0. The mode is 0. The attack is hashcat. So we did this much. Now we are providing the hashes file. So I run this in a desktop. I go on desktop and then I provide hashes. Then we will be providing our word list. Our word list is in downloads. Okay, so download slash of you dot x. Now we will be providing the rules that I told you. The rules are combinator rules and they are given by hashcat. If you are on Linux machine, you would already have it under user share hashcat and then rules. Alright, but if you're on the Windows or Mac machine, you have to download it manually. 
That's it. That's our command of hash cat. Now I will start looking for the answer to these hashes in this word list using this suit. All right. Let's do it. It has started working. And now as you can see, it is telling us please be patient. A budget regular. Don't worry about that. So we have committed our tool. It is telling us that we have these many passwords. Okay. So we got one password, which is hack the world. And we got next set. And that is we might have got the other password as well. So yeah, we using file the keys this work your adjuster okay so that's how you can use hashcat to crack hashes to crack passwords to crack wi-fi networks it is just basically a brute force tool right you can provide it with the word list you can provide it with the rules and you can let it do its work you can just leave it overnight because Oculus is a very big word list it is you know 40 million words it will take time to do that but if you leave it overnight and you have around two three hours to spare with you it will completely get the work done then if you just go to rock you i'll just show you once and now i can just scare the file which is our uh, rock text right and as you can see my number two uh if you have a heart attack by you know just seeing these are buffers these are around 14 million passwords in this word list all right, and your computer will take around 15 minutes. You're going to calculate the full thing. We're going to show you the full thing. So it's a very powerful word list. You can download it online, and I use it for most of my projects. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. Hashcape is a great tool. So tell me in the comments what you guys think about it. And I post videos every week on hacking, uh, bug bounty, and penetration testing. So if you are a fan, be sure to smash the subscribe button, and I'll catch you there next time.